What's good, my beautiful family, and welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your girl, Liana, and today we have a fire lower body session. I'm about to put you through this pain. We're about to put in work. We've also got about an hour and 30 minutes to get through this workout. So if you are short on time, this workout is perfect for you. And if you want some pain, stay tuned. Let's get into it. So first exercise we're starting off with is a Bulgarian split squat barbell edition. So we're not using the dumbbell, we're using the barbell. So if you're new to this exercise, I would recommend using a dumbbell or even just your body weight to start off with. And then once you feel comfortable, get into a Smith machine Bulgarian split squat or a barbell Bulgarian split squat. Depending on the height that you like to use, I'm using like a, this is about what, 18? Is that 18 inches? Yeah, 18. It's about 18 inches for the platform. You can always use a shorter platform depending on, you know, how your knees feel. But first, we're getting into a warm up. Do not skip your warm ups. Okay, we're gonna start off with some hip openers. I'm gonna do 15 reps for each warm up. ready to get into the workout. Oh my gosh, Bulgarian split squats suck, but they are great. So we're not skipping Bulgarian split squats. We're gonna start off with the barbell and then we're gonna add on weight. Slightly lean forward to target the glutes. Four more. Second set, we're adding 10 on each side and we're going for 10 reps on each leg. Here we go. So we're gonna increase weight to 25 pounds on each side. Okay. We are not taking long rest periods. I honestly love a good short rest period. So if you wanna focus on hypertrophy, longer rest periods are better, but shorter rest periods are better for muscular endurance. Okay, now third set, we're going for, what is it? Eight reps. Rest for 30 seconds, it's a minute, and then we're getting into the next set. All right, we're adding on 35 for the last set, and we're gonna go for failure reps. But I'm gonna go from like the last, before I fail fail, I'm gonna stop at the one right before it, because on a Bulgarian split squat, if you go to a like extreme failure, you might injure yourself, so please be careful on these. Remember form over weight, always. One, let's go. Okay. One, two, three. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna go for two more. Last one.
<laughs> okay, I'm putting it down. Next leg. Next leg. Last set. Go in, then you're done. Okay, last set is done. I need a break. We're gonna take a minute and 30 seconds. I'm just gonna walk around the gym for a second. Are you a person to sit down and like rest? Are you a person to walk around the gym? Are you a person to be there on your phone? Let me know in the comments below what kind of person you are during your rest periods. Now we're getting into a barbell RDL. A lot of y'all know that I love this exercise. I'm gonna start with just the barbell. Remember feet, slightly shoulder width apart, toes pointed outwards, keeping our shoulders retracted back. When we come down, we're gonna pretend like we're grazing the barbell on our shins. Pushing our hips all the way back, keeping a neutral spine coming right up. Once you feel that stretch in your glutes, you don't have to keep going all the way down because that's why you're probably feeling it in your lower back. So whenever you come down, feel the stretch in your glute, come right back up. Remember, you're pushing your hips all the way back. I'm just gonna go for 15 reps. Make sure you're not checking out yourself in the mirror. So keep your chin tucked down. If you're new to RDLs, I recommend starting with dumbbells. And on a barbell, I'm also doing one underhand grip and one overhand grip. This is to help with grip strength because I don't like to use lifting straps. So I'm switching my grips every single set. Here we go. Last one. Okay. Now we're gonna increase to 45 on each side. Let's go. <laughs> I said I was gonna drop in weight, but to be honest, I'm feeling like I can do more. So I'm gonna put a 25 on top of the 45 and I'm gonna go till failure. <laughs> Light work, baby, let's go. Now we are getting into a superset. I am doing a single leg hip thrust and we're pairing it with a step up with a knee drive. So it's basically similar to a regular hip thrust, but we're only using one leg. Placing one dumbbell on your quad. With the opposite leg, you're gonna drive up with your knee, really focusing on targeting your glutes. Honestly, if you haven't been training and you hop right back into training, ease into it and do not be so tough on yourself because when you're taking a break and then you're coming right back into fitness, your body's gonna be out of shape. 
not out of shape in the sense of the way it looks, your conditioning is not gonna be up to how it used to be. Now we're getting straight into a step up with a knee drive. So remember, a step up is when you come up, slightly lean forward, really putting all your weight into your heel. So you wanna focus on your balance when you're coming up. And instead of just stopping right here, we're gonna bring the knee all the way up and we're gonna come back down slowly. And whenever you come back down, you don't wanna rock all the way back down. So this is what you should not do. When you're coming down, don't step all the way back and then come up. You wanna make sure you're slowly coming down, lightly tapping the bottom, coming right back up, bringing your knee up into a knee drive. Now this is a bit challenging. Sometimes when your shoes aren't flat, it's hard to stay stabilized. So I'm gonna take off my shoes. Quick little shoe flip. And I'm gonna just start off with body weight. Remember, this is really gonna work our core as well and really just focus on our balance and stability. This exercise is not about going till failure. It's just really working on your balance. Okay. All right, now getting into the second set, going back into a single leg hip thrust. Okay, we switch. Let's go, two more. Okay. Now we're getting into step up with knee drive. I'm gonna add on weight and hopefully my balance is good. All right, focus, let's go. to hype yourself up. There we go, easy work, easy work. Last one, last one. Okay, rest for 30 seconds and we get into the next set. Okay, next leg. into step up.
gonna lie, I'm tired, but we are finishing with a finisher. We're doing a DB goblet squat drop set. Drop sets are sets back to back with no rest in between each set. And you basically go till failure for every single set. So we're gonna start off with heavy weight and then we're gonna drop into a lighter weight, lighter weight, lighter weight, lighter weight. If you're using a weight that's really heavy, you wanna use all your upper body strength. You're gonna take both of your hands, pretend like you're doing like a sumo squat, bring it up, drive it up. And you're gonna take both hands, which gets a bit tricky. Then you're gonna get onto the platform, about shoulder width apart, feet pointed outwards, and we're gonna go for 15 reps. Let's go. Let's go for two more. Nope. Okay. Drop sets or no rest. Okay, back up. We drop weight. Make sure you're really focusing on like keeping your wrist locked. Don't bend them or you're gonna help or else you're gonna hurt your wrist. I can't even talk. Let's go. Again. No, I can't. Let's get it. that pain that you get right before you give out you have to literally be stronger than your mind and tell yourself like nah bro I'm not giving up I'm going for one more last thing come on bro last thing let's go six seven okay Five more. Three, two more. One. Last one. Two. Okay. Okay, that is the end of this lower body workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you're gonna give it a try and let me know how it goes. I'm honestly about to just do some recovery stretching and relax my body because I am in pain. But make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.